Hey YouTube, how you guys doing? My name is Kyle, you know me as Dragon Mart, and welcome to a new video. Today we are talking about my recent climb to Immortal 3, um, and it wasn't just a fluke, Immortal 3 is now my act rank. We have over 10 wins actually, we've been doing pretty well recently, and hopefully hitting Radiant pretty soon. And I want to talk about three changes I have made recently. You guys hear me talk about changing up your, your play style, changing what you do, how you play the game, things like that. Everyone's always looking for ways um, to get the edge and to get better. And I want to talk about some of the things I've done recently that have helped me improve and helped me get that consistency I was looking for to get to the higher ranks and play in the higher ranks with some of the best players around. So if you guys enjoy these videos, make sure you leave a like subscribe and tap that bell i also want to say i will be live on twitch at twitch.tv slash dragonmart love to see you guys there do a lot of fun stuff over there as well as all the gameplay you see is from my stream and without any further ado i want to thank today's sponsor which leads directly into the first change i've made as we all know gaming for long hours can be tough on your back but flexi spot has you covered their new electric height adjustable standing desk are truly incredible one of the best parts about FlexiSpot products is how quickly they can be assembled and how quickly you can return to gaming. This all-in-one install package took me less than 10 minutes from start to finish. That's not a joke, and I'm an idiot. The factory installed crossbeam is a lifesaver, meaning I was literally just responsible for putting together the legs, the feet, and a tiny bit of wiring. Back pain is a huge problem when you're gaming for long hours, and with a touch of a button, I can go from sitting to standing in less than 10 seconds. Right now, I've been standing when editing videos, also in Zoom or Discord calls, also when I've been watching games on stream, you guys saw me standing up getting a little bit of crazy. It's actually really nice and uh, I'm super glad I now have this capability. Obviously when I'm playing games, I want to be sitting, but for almost anything else, standing is great and also it's going to save my back with how many hours I've been putting into Valorant recently. Speaking of gaming for long hours, another great thing about the desk is that it has plenty of space for both of my monitors, mouse pad and keyboard. It's sturdy, made with quality materials, and perfect for anybody who's looking to game. If you're in the market for a high quality but highly affordable desk, click that referral link down below and save yourself some money. FlexiSpot has your back, literally. Alright, so the first change we're going to talk about, and it's pretty obvious, it was the FlexiSpot desk. Now. This is a huge change for me because this is a change to my setup, something I haven't done in a very, very long time. And this is something that a lot of people ask me about on stream, in comments, you know, Twitter, everything. They ask, hey, you know, should I change this part of my setup? Should I get a new mouse? Should I get a new keyboard, a new monitor, a new computer, you know, a new desk, a new chair, a new headset, whatever it is. They always ask me, is this going to make me a better player? And most of the time, the answer is going to be no, it will not. But in my specific case, this desk, I believe, has helped me tremendously. Now, I don't want to say it is the reason I hit Immortal 3. It's not. But it has helped me. When I first got this desk, I was in Diamond 2. It was the lowest of lows. I, I was stuck. I didn't know what I was doing wrong, but I could not climb. The desk came, and I've climbed to Immortal 3 since. Now, like I said, I don't want to praise it too much, but... Something changed, something happened when I got this desk, and I'm pretty sure I know what. So, my old desk, you guys may not know this, but I had had it for about 10 years. Now, I never took um, FPSs too serious, obviously with Overwatch, that was the closest I, I got with a, you know, play, being top 500. So, I never really cared too much about how I aimed and, and all that kind of stuff. Um, but what I realized is that my keyboard on my old desk actually sat in a tray below the desk, so right below the desk, was my keyboard about you know six inches below it probably in a little tray you guys have probably seen those desks before what this means is that the height of my chair and how i positioned myself my my left arm for the keyboard went down while my right arm went up on top of the desk and i actually rested my elbow on my armrest on my chair and what i realized about this is that <clears throat> not many people not many pros keep their arms off their desks and I thought to myself, if I give this a shot, you know, if I get a new desk, I want my arm to sit on my desk while I aim. I want my aiming arm, my right arm to be on my desk. And guys, I cannot tell you the difference this has made. Um, a lot, I think a lot of it has to do with stability. Um, it allows me to use my arm more for aiming, which is really, really nice, as well as it gives me this like stable, like 
axis point where I can just sort of rotate my arm around and, and I don't have to worry about my arm slipping off um, the, the armrest on my chair. It, it's really, really nice. And I, I, I can't really explain why I didn't make this change sooner. Obviously, I'm very thankful for FlexiSpot for sending me the desk and giving me this opportunity because seriously, like, I feel like such an idiot now for not making this change earlier on. I've obviously never been someone who's too into changing their setup around too often. You know, I keep things for a very long time, but having my arm on my desk has made a world of difference in my aim. And I think we're all starting to see that. I mean, some of these shots I'm hitting, some of these plays that I'm making have been absolutely phenomenal in games. I mean, I am getting, I, I am winning fights against people who are insanely good players and I'm taking them down with ease, you know, and I think that's something that really came from having this desk and, and, and allowing myself to feel comfortable and feel confident in how I play the game. So if you guys find yourself in a similar position to me where you've got one of those weird desks with uh, the keyboard below the actual desk in a tray, highly, highly recommend this FlexiSpot desk. It is a lifesaver. Also height adjustable, really cool. Didn't know I liked that, but I do. So if you guys are in the market or you're in a similar situation, I seriously, and I mean this when I say it, I really do believe this has helped my aim tremendously. Um, and it was one of the biggest reasons I have been able to be more consistent in the way I'm playing. If you guys are interested in the desk, want to check it out yourself, the links down below. Now, I'm sure you guys saw this one coming, but obviously the second big change for me has been in my confidence. Now, the reason I'm more confident, I think, is because I feel more confident in my aim. You guys know I talk about this a lot. I always talk about game sense and how important it is to not just have that mechanical skill, but also have that deep understanding of the game, of strategies, of uh, you know team comps, of of how to play around your teammates, how to play different agents, how to play different positions, all that kind of stuff, right? And I think for me in particular, I always had a good understanding of the game. That was never my problem. I never felt like when I was stuck in Diamond 2 recently, I was never like, oh man, like only if I understood the game better, if I could figure out when, no, I always knew when certain things were happening. You know, one of the most frustrating parts of this game for me is when you make the right play, but you don't end up winning the, the, the round or the play or the fight because your aim just, just does not allow you to win the battle. When you have that first shot advantage and you still lose because you miss. And that was one of the most frustrating things to me. And, and part of the reason I, I, I decided I, I, need a, I need a new desk. You know, I need to change something because I'm trying everything. And so what ended up happening is that after I got the desk, my aim became way more consistent. I started hitting way more shots, a lot more headshots. I started practicing more, doing a lot more deathmatch, and in turn, that boosted my confidence. So what happens? Well, I start ranking up Diamond 3. All right, great. We're almost back to Immortal. Now Immortal 1. Okay, Immortal 2. You know, what's happening? How is this happening? And now I'm Immortal 3, and I'm winning, and I'm, and I'm, I'm doing very well, um, might I add. Uh, I'm holding my own against against professionals and beating pros, uh, you know, other radiants. I'm top fragging when I'm the highest rank in the lobby. It feels really, really good to play the game right now. And what did that do to me? It boosted my confidence. And part of the reason this has been so important to me is because, like I was just saying, I have always lacked confidence in my aim, especially when I take those 1v1 fights that I know I have an advantage in. I would lose all the time. Even if I flash someone, right? I would still, you know, get a little crazy with my spray or something and I would lose the fight. And it was that lack of confidence that has really held me back, I feel like, from pushing myself to that next level. And I think a lot of you guys who are watching this right now are probably in a similar situation where maybe you take a fight and you don't actually believe in yourself. And you're like, oh man, like I, this is going to be so hard. I don't know if I can hit this shot even if you have the advantage. And it has been so, so important for me to build up this confidence in myself and in my aim. And um, it has actually made a world of difference for me now. Like you guys probably know this. I've already made a video on confidence. Highly recommend you check that out. Um, but yeah, this has been a, a real revelation for me, you know, cause I'm kind of looking back now and trying to figure out, okay, what did I do to get here? And I realized like one of the biggest changes for me has been my mindset, has been my outlook, has been the way I view the game and how I view myself as a player. I'm not scared to go in to a radiant lobby. 
I'm not scared to be the Immortal 3 in the Radiant Lobby or to be the, 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 the top uh, rank in the lobby. I prefer not to be, but I know I'll, I'll carry my team if I can. And it feels great. It really does to have this sort of confidence in how I'm playing the game because now I know that I can match my game sense with my aim and it has made me uh, such a better player and I'm having a blast. All right, and the third change. Oh, you guys are going to love this one. It was my play style. Um, I had to make one particular change to the way I've played the game since becoming a higher rank, and that is uh, I've had to tone down some of the aggression. And in particular, the aggression I've been toning down is the sort of uh, blind peaks or the dry peaks. So essentially uh, turning a corner or peaking an angle without using any utility. Um, one thing I've realized about reaching higher ranks in this game is that the aim of players is unbelievable, and if you peak them, it is very unforgiving in the sense that you are probably uh, going to be spectating uh, right after you, you turn that corner. So, with that in mind, I have sort of had to adjust a little bit. When you're in plat, when you're in diamond, or lower, obviously, you sort of can take those dry peaks on angles, um, and it just check positions, see if somebody's there, but even against oppers, honestly, but once you hit these higher ranks, there is just no shot you are living uh, against an op or, or against someone who's holding the angle properly. You are probably going to get headshot. Now, because of this, I have sort of had to develop a slightly different style of aggression. And for me, it has mainly been playing around uh, my smokes a bit more. So, Instead of just walk pushing and, and swinging a corner, I will instead smoke and then push up to the smoke. You guys have seen it on stream a lot where instead of maybe flashing through and giving away my position or, or that I'm going to push, I'll actually just walk right through smokes. Um, generally, I try to wait for reloads. I had that one amazing play in, in a bind game recently where I was able to walk through a smoke um, at long B. Uh, when I was on defense uh, on an eco round with a shorty, I killed the first guy, picked up his gun, killed the second, and then killed a third uh, with a spray transfer. And it was an insane round. We ended up winning the game, um, definitely in part to that round. And I just realized, like, there are times, there was times before where I just would have never have, have uh, smoked long to begin with. I would have just swung that position, died instantly, and been out of the round. So what I've realized is that, you know, you hear me talk a lot about passive play, how people tend to be too aggressive. And I honestly think, even though I was giving that advice, I was one of those people. Um, I realized that despite being, uh, I believe Omen's a controller, uh, but, but despite playing more of a support role, that I was actually the first one dead a lot. And that started to worry me because once you get into these higher ranks, your, your life is valued a lot higher because you need players alive for that teamwork to work, to retake sites, to play together. So dying early is just not an option. And I realized, oh my God, like I'm actually the first one dead. I'm literally spectating more than I'm playing the game. I have to change something up. So the biggest thing for me so far has been toning down the aggression and using my abilities a lot more to make sure that I can mask some of the plays I'm making. So it's not so telegraphed and so that people can't read me so easy and get the free kills. And this has made a huge difference. I've noticed that as I'm staying alive in rounds longer and because of the confidence I have in myself, I'm able to clutch up a lot more situations to get a lot more impact frags do a lot better on retakes um and i'm still struggling by the way i just want you guys to know i'm still working on a lot of things one of the things i'm working on right now is retakes i have a really really hard time slowing down on a retake i end up just running into sites and just dying because i don't wait for my team and i don't play slow enough so that is something i am working on and which just means i could be more passive in my play style and i could be more patient and i can play smarter still so even though i'm a mortal three i have a long way to go all right, guys, and that is going to conclude the video. The three huge changes that have helped me reach Immortal 3 so far. Don't worry, I will talk more about this climb in other videos. But the main three in this one I, were obviously the, the desk, which has been massive. The confidence because of my aim and my play style with toning down my aggression, playing more passive and playing around my abilities more have really, really helped me and made a huge difference so far. If you guys have any questions, stop by the stream. Feel free to ask. And I hope you enjoyed the video. That being said, I'll see you next time. Take it easy and peace.